Conditional probability by definition means probability of event A knowing that event B has already occurred. So there are several types that I'm going to show you about conditional probability and we're going to work on the first type which is multiplication rule of dependent events. I've shown you in previous examples how we use multiplication rule when the events that we're dealing with are all independent. Now what if your event or your experiment um, pertains to an event that is dependent. The notation that we are using today for type 1 conditional probability will be P or probability of A and B equals probability of A times the probability of B given A. So this is how we use conditional probability of type 1. Here's an example of uh, probability of or conditional probability with uh, dependent events. So let's say we have an experiment and the experiment is drawing cards from a standard deck of cards. Event A is drawing a king and event B will be drawing another king from the same deck of cards. So this is a dependent event because the first ev or the second event is dependent on the first event. And let's use the formula to find the probability of this event from happening. Drawing a king and then another king when you pick a or when you pick cards from a standard deck of cards. Now the probability of A is going to be 4 out of 50 because you have 4 kings from 52 or from a number of 52 cards in the standard deck of cards. So this is a dependent event because the second pick will be dependent from the first pick. So that's why the probability of B given A will be 3 out of 53. Your sample space is now changed because you already picked the right king or a king that you're supposed to pick and now there's only three available kings in your standard deck of cards of 53. And multiplying them together will give you 0.45%. So therefore, the probability of drawing a king and another king is 0.45% from a standard deck of cards. And this is a type 1 example of our conditional probability. And here's our type 2 of conditional probability, wherein your probabilities or your percentage will be given in the problem. So this will be the formula or the notation that we're using in our type 2 conditional probability. The probability of B given A is given by the formula P of A and B all over P of A. So in our example, 70% of students in Mr. E's class like statistics. Now, 35% like both statistics and calculus. What percent of those who like statistics will also like calculus. So this is a conditional event of this type and we're going to use our formula to write our answer. So first P of A or the probability of event A will be the percentage of students who only like statistics because this is just a single event and in this case it's 0.70 or 70 percent. Now the probability of A and B will be 0.35% because in this case or in this problem it says here that 35% like both statistics and calculus. Now we're trying to find the percentage of those who like statistics and also like calculus. So probability of B given A using the formula will be 0.35 all over 0.70 which gives you 0.50. So therefore 50% of Mr. E students who like statistics also like calculus from this particular example. And this is our type 2 of conditional probability. Now the third conditional probability that we're going to be working on will be in form of a table. Now I did not write the problem but the problem or the scenario is that you are supposed to buy a blow dryer and from that store the number of defective and non-defective uh, blow dryers are on the shelf and there's only two brands, brand A and brand B. And the table shows you the complete set of uh, blow dryers that's av available in that particular store. So for brand A, there are 15 uh, blow dryers from brand A, 10 of them are non-defective and 5 of them are defective. And for brand B, there are 10 blow dryers in the store and Eight of them are working, 
five of them are not working. And we tallied each of their totals. So total of brand A is 15 blow dryers. Total of brand B will be 10 blow dryers. And then the total of non-defective blow dryers is 18. And the total of defective or non-working blow dryers is 7. Now the probability question is that find the probability that the blow dryer you bought is from brand A given that it's defective. So event e, A right here is the blow dryer from brand A and event B will be our defective blow dryer. And in this case, this is a conditional probability of P of A given B. So in this case, our A would be the number of defective um, blow dryers from brand A and this is the number of defective blow dryers from brand A and we're finding uh, the defective blow dryers that we're going to be ending up with from brand A. So that's why we're going to get the total number of defective blow dryers from brand A, which is 7. So in our conditional probability, 5 out of 7 will be our fractions or our ratio. So therefore, the probability that the blow dryer you bought is from brand A, given that it's defective, will be 71.4%.